Hey guys, Saransh here. So in this video, I'll be explaining you about the fall intake which happens in the August and the, the month of September. Okay, so I'll be explaining about the timeline and its benefits over the spring intake. So let us start with this. So first about the timeline. If you want to go abroad for MS or PhD or even for your undergrad, you need to start at least one year before your actual your actual classes start in the uh, university. Okay, so that is because you have to take your GRE exam or you have to take your TOEFL exam and you have to apply to the universities. You get your you have to get your documents ready. And after that, the application process itself takes two to three months because when you apply, then the result of that application takes about two to three months to be reflected on your online portal. Okay, so suppose if you want to go in 2021 in the fall intake, suppose in the month of August, then you definitely need to start a year before that. It's somewhere around... Uh, uh, July or June in 2020 so you'll start your preparation for GRE and TOEFL in June so it will take about two and a half to three months so that will be about July August September so after September uh, you give your GRE and TOEFL exam and uh, in October you will get it over with and then you would have your GRE and TOEFL scores and uh, then you will take another one month to get your documents ready your SOP LORs and everything else then by the end of November you would complete all your applications in the universities in which you want to apply and then you would need to wait somewhere around one and a half two or two and a half months for some universities and by the end of February and middle of March you're going to have your results with you and you will know which universities have given you the acceptance for masters and after that you will start your visa process and then you would have to shop for uh, your travel and everything so this will take this much amount of time somewhere just about one year advance you have to prepare yourself for the admission in august and september similarly the timeline is one year advance planning for uh, just the same as uh, fall if you want to go in the spring intake then you have to plan one year in advance for the spring intake and the spring intake happens in january to march so that is the time for spring intake and for the fall intake you have uh, the time is august to september and just uh, keep it in your mind you have to start one year in advance all right so now the question comes which intake is better for the admission for the financial aid for the opportunities which will be available with you so which type of uh, intake is better so it is straight that fall intake has some very major advantages over the spring intake and now i'm going to discuss that with you so first many of the top universities they don't offer spring intake or they don't offer as many programs for the spring intake so that is why the fall intake is preferred uh, because you know the new semester uh, starts generally in august or september and uh, many students come to those uh, that semester in the new uh, semester and uh, because of the sheer number of students which take admission in those months that is why the number of programs offered are more secondly if you go for the spring intake then uh, the, the, the curriculum is going to be burdensome for you because one semester is already over that is the fall and uh, the subjects which you will study in the spring semester would need some prerequisites which the students who have admitted in the fall semester have already studied so you would need to cover that up by your own and you would need to study very hard for that because the prerequisites which uh, were offered in the fall semester you would need those prerequisites to study the subjects in the spring semester so you would have to cover that up then the other point is that if you want to apply for internship uh, in the united states or anywhere else then the 
process is or the rule is that you should have studied at least for nine months that is for about two semesters you should have studied for, for two semesters and if you go for the spring semester then after the spring there is a summer break in which you can do your internship but you have gone in spring semester so you haven't studied for nine months and the people who went in the fall semester they have studied for two semesters and then they can apply for the internship in the spring uh, in, the, in the summer break which comes after spring so that is also uh, an advantage for the students who get an admit in fall that is they complete their two semesters of study and then they can apply for internships then the next thing is that the number of companies which come to the career fair in fall is much greater than the number of companies which come to the career fair in spring. So if you go in the fall semester, you get a better chance of networking with people and socializing with people, getting your resume and your profile out there. So there are more chances of a job when you go in the fall semester. So yes, when uh, the time you go uh, to, the, to the university to do your masters and you have to attend all the career fairs that would be very beneficial for you. So if you go in the fall semester then of course you have more opportunities for a job. Then uh, it comes to assistantships and financial aid. See students graduate in the summer months. So seats for assistantship GAs and RAs are open in the fall semester. So people who go in the fall semester have a better chance of getting a TA, a GA or an RA. Now, people who go in the fall semester, they take up those opportunities and those seats get filled. Now, for the people who go in the spring semester, those opportunities are no longer open. So, the opportunities for financial aid, this implies, are more in the fall semester. Okay, so that is one of the point. And the last but not the least is that acceptance rate is generally higher in fall semester. I'm not saying this is true for every university, but generally talking that it is somewhat higher in the fall. The better chances of admission are there in the fall. So that is why you should definitely try to go for the fall intake instead of the spring. But suppose you don't get an admission in the fall. I'm not saying that you shouldn't apply for spring, but because that in because that way you have to wait for a long period of time. So if you don't get an admission in the fall, you should definitely try for the spring. But your first priority should be fall semester. If you want to go to do your master's and PhD, then I think you should definitely aim for the fall semester and these were all the benefits and the timeline which you need to follow in this scenario. Okay, thank you.